where I am in life. Is this what you thought building was going to be all about? This is why it's good to be nimble. This is Scott Brown here. In today's exciting video, we are showing you what really holds a house together. What's holding him up? You know I can't work without a good breakfast. Gee, Jimmy's bringing a box of Kellogg Sugar Smacks. All the more reason for hurrying. Let's start from the top. Basically, your roof is screwed to your purlins, which is screwed to your trusses. Then your trusses are connected to your top plates, and your top plates are connected to your studs with these Z nails. And then you go down the stud to the bottom plate, which is connected with these brackets at every single stud. All of these brackets are on at 400 mil centers. And the only reason we have as many as we do is because when there's a fire, this frame needs to be able to burn and still stay up. So whoever is in the house when it happens has time to escape. That's why we have the brackets. Yeah, what is that? Six inches? Seven maybe? Seven inches? I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, look, every single one, there's two per stud. Boom, boom. And then you move along to these posts which shows that the bearer is connected to the post with a plate and then the bearer is in the concrete which is in the ground. And that is what actually holds down your building. So in order to do that properly you need to make a lot of connections. Closed in. Roof on. Wrap on. That was a slight miss. I was too busy looking at the camera. But yeah, it's all wrapped up. We've got a bunch of solid noggins to do up there and some other boring stuff, but wrapped up. So that means that all the inside can dry up properly now. The longer it's dry, the higher probability of passing the moisture test. But that's another story. Another day done. We're all wrapped up, so that is a big milestone as always when it's weather tight. So the goal for the rest of the week is pretty much to get the wrap passed, get the framing passed, they can see all the connections from the inside, and then we'll clad next week. The channel's going well as well. We flew past 100 subscribers, which is, I didn't think it would happen that quickly. Um, I'm, I'm just enjoying doing YouTube videos, so I'll keep them coming. Oh yeah, you can put like smoke in there, like edit some smoke, like Thousand Island. <laughs> Tonight, it's Matthew. I'm going to be David Burley. Surprise! <laughs>